In this video, you will learn to protonate and deprotonate an atom, draw a conjugate acid, and draw a conjugate base. Let's start by protonating Benadryl, an antihistamine medication that many people take to relieve their allergy symptoms. If you do, watch out for its sedative side effect. Benadryl is sold in protonated form, a form generated by reacting the original Benadryl molecule with hydrochloric acid. The word protonate means to transfer a proton to a given molecule, meaning hydrogen without an electron associated with it. Proton transfers involve electron movement, like any other reaction. To reveal the electrons involved, we expand the structures by drawing in the bonding and non-bonding electrons. Because we don't just have protons floating around in solution, the proton is going to start out on another molecule hydrochloric acid in this case. If we don't know the identity of the acid, we can use a generic molecule, HA. To protonate Benadryl, the electrons from the nitrogen atom will form a new bond with the proton, and the HCl bond will break. In later videos, we'll analyze why the nitrogen's non-bonding electrons reacted, and not any other electrons in the molecule. So the acid protonated Benadryl. Otherwise said, Benadryl was protonated by the acid. In doing so, the nitrogen has gained a positive charge, and the chlorine, the other portion of the original acid, is now negatively charged. Notice that the charges balance. Negative plus positive gives a zero overall charge, and we had a zero overall charge in the starting materials. Alternatively, we could say that Benadryl deprotonated the hydrochloric acid. Another way to say protonate a species is draw the conjugate acid. Another way to say deprotonate is draw the conjugate base. What is the conjugate acid of Benadryl? What is the conjugate base of hydrochloric acid? Every time we draw the mechanism to protonate or deprotonate an atom, we end up drawing the conjugate acid or conjugate base. We can label the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. Note the equilibrium arrows between the reactants and the products. The species on the right are called the conjugate acid and conjugate base because if you consider the reverse reaction, the ammonium on the top would act as the proton donor, the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and the chloride ion would act as the proton acceptor, the Bronsted-Lowry base, to reform Benadryl and hydrochloric acid. In summary, in this video we learned how to protonate and deprotonate a molecule, or in other words, how to draw its conjugate acid and conjugate base. 